I accept your nomination to run and serve as Vice President of the United States of America. Dad, you have once again taught us by example. You are my hero. You are my best friend. You are the next President of the United States. Vote for the survival of the greatest country in the world and do the right thing for this country. Vote for Donald Trump. The next president will be sworn in six months from today on this third night of the Republican National Convention. Vice presidential nominee Mike Pence took the podium just a short time ago after a strong contingent of Floridians. Tonight's CBS 4 News brings you complete team coverage. We begin with CBS 4's Lauren Pastrana in Cleveland live. Lauren. Rick, Ruta Bay Day 3 of the Republican National Convention is just now wrapping up here at the Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland, Ohio. It's a night that saw just a bit of everything. There was some emphatic applause for most of the speakers here on the stage today, but we also saw some pretty passionate boos, those directed to Senator Ted Cruz as he spoke here on the convention floor without actually endorsing Donald Trump. Now, Indiana Governor Mike Pence spoke just a few minutes ago, accepting his party's nomination for Vice President of the United States. States. You have nominated a man for president who never quits, who never backs down, a fighter, a winner. Until now, he's had to do it all by himself against all odds. But this week, with this united party, he's got back up. And on November 8th, I know we will elect Donald Trump to be the 45th president of the United States of America. Let's resolve here and now that Hillary Clinton will never become president of the United States of America. In my home state of Indiana, we prove every day that you can build a growing economy on balanced budgets, low taxes, even while making record investments in education and roads and health care.